Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Simon for Dust Bunny, and today we're hoping to make some progress into metalwork and see if we can get some of these chestnuts. Um, now, I don't actually remember what we do with chestnuts. I think you can make uh, grilled chestnuts. Yes, we can make grilled chestnuts. Uh, for grilling the chestnuts, I believe we'll need another grill. Um, because, you know, that's what you need to grill things, isn't it? A grill. Um, I've built this extra ladder down here, and I want to go all the way across. And hopefully... Uh, no. Hopefully, we can... Construction... This construction is too far from the builders. Builders past new district. Okay, so... We'll see, we might have to build a new district, but I want to start gathering some of this metal because I th I think this is the way forward for us. Let's take it off pause and jump into the things. Uh, let's have a look, sorry. Brain got distracted there for just a second. I need to sort of work out another grill option here. Um, where are we going to put the grill? Food, we need a grill. We can fit the grill in here. Um, yeah, let's fit the grill in there. Um, we'll just run a little path around to it here, like so. And that will keep the beavers going. Water doesn't seem to be giving us much of an issue at the moment. We seem to have got this under control. Um, I'm hoping that grilled chestnuts will be a thing in our near future, as we have corn, um, but to get to aquatic farm we need, so this is planks and gears, what, what's gears? Gears is, gears is what, energy, power, I'm assuming, um, so this one I'd like to unlock. At the moment, I think I'm using all the power. Um, so, network supply maximum demand is that. Um, current power output is 110. So we should be good on those. We should be. This should keep us running and keep us in planks. What I'm interested in is this one. It says we need gears. How do we make gears? Um, I, f I fear we've... I've missed something along the road here. Gears. Here we go. Gear workshop. That's what we need. Oh, and that needs a lot of power. Okay. I have indeed missed something along the way. So we're going to need... Another one of these. And we're going to need this gear workshop. Yes, we want to unlock that. And hopefully if we stick it here, we can put the power across from here. So hopefully that will allow us to get that working. Now, back over to here, on the other side, I want to see if we can now build this. Because um, I want to build down like that. And then you know, get this one going and see if I can actually gather here. So if I stick chasm scavenging, this construction is too far from the builders, build more paths or build a new district. Yeah, so I got a horrible feeling this is going to require a new district. That is something that's going to give me a bit of trouble, to be honest. I've not done the whole new district thing and I don't really want to make a new district just yet. Um, because I haven't decided where I want the district centre if I'm going to create it. Um, 
here seems like a really bad choice for a district because there's not a lot of water run here. It wouldn't be so bad if I can get water to flow this way. Um, oh, something needs a recipe, which is probably this. So you likely need... No, you don't have a recipe. What's the matter with all this stuff? Um, but he needs more power. Okay, we're out. We're out of wind power. So five buildings lack power. Granted. Um, understood. One building needs recipe. You require the recipe for grilled chestnuts. Go. Uh, I don't know how many chestnuts we have. But we have a few. But that should pick up as these trees mature. Okay, we'll bring this back forward. When the wind starts, we should have some more power. In terms of what we actually do for building a dam, If you build a dam on top of a dam, can you can you do that to get the extra height? So, for example, if I went um, I don't know, can I remove the path from on top of this? Um, no, because that's gonna actually delete that. No, so no, I don't want to delete the dam. Hmm. I'm just wondering is if, if you can build on top of this, you could always just channel water around here. And then this area becomes viable as a district. I mean, truth be known. Oh, wow. That's, um quite serious so yeah truth be known you could block this area off block this whole zone off up to like two levels to get this all wet and everything I'm wondering if that's even viable I'm tempted to try it though and see what happens I can always take it down later. Um, so at the moment you want too high to get level with the ground there, so you're going to want three high. But then I really I want to build another level on top. Because um, I want to get the water level with up here. And try and bring it all the way across. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is eventually I'm going to need this anyway. So if I cannot unlock not enough science points, okay. What about that one? Not enough science points. Okay, we need to keep going on the science points, clearly. Um, and we can't build that yet because we haven't got the district. So... Because, I mean, ideally, the district I'd want would be somewhere over here, rather than up there. I'd have it over here. I can't see of anywhere else. I'd rather put the district at the moment, because... Hmm. I mean, you know, you can block this whole area off here. Flood it all out. Um, I'm not sure how much I want to do there. I mean, if you flood that out, it would flood down here and then come back round here and back down. So you might need to figure something out there later, but it'd be interesting to see what would happen with the dynamics of the water at the time. So. 
I'm quite intrigued. If I wanted to build a new district, and I wanted to build it over here somewhere, is that even doable? Um, I mean, that's too high. I mean, this is staying wet, so that would, it would work. Um, eh, eh, I'm indecision. So if I said I wanted a district center over here. I mean, you see the main patch of area land is here, but it's just, I'm not going to be able to get the water that high to go over there, I don't think. I mean, it'd be awesome if I could. Just block this off. Block all this off and let this whole area fill up with water and even let it run out over here. I mean, it would give me a nice big patch of land there you could build on. But again, it only the water only gets in so far. So I'm not sure that's actually worth it. Um, hmm. I haven't decided here what I want to do to build another district. Because if I build it down here, I'm going to end up flooding the place out. At some point, I can see. Um, hmm. I mean, I'd love to get it round here to build the district round here. That wouldn't be terrible. How to get there, though? I mean, how to actually initially get there is the problem. No, I don't see anywhere without metal to actually get there. So it's almost like you have to build a sacrificial town. Um, so if I build a district centre and I build one... Okay, let's build a district gate. Like... Okay, so I need to get rid of the actual a bit of path here. Okay, let's get rid of that bit of path. I'm going to build a district gate like there. And then I'm going to build a new district center right down here somewhere or something like that. A new district center here. Okay. So, now we can build this. Can we emigrate a couple? What's this? Bacon. Bacon. Transport good between warehouses when idle. And we can have three workers. Do we have to emigrate them over using this? Um, using this? Migrate population. Um, let's just migrate three adults. Can I migrate? No, that didn't work. Okay. Um, migrate population. Three adults? No. There is no other district in range. How, how does this work? It didn't explain how to do this. Um, hmm. Did not explain how to migrate districts. Large warehouse, underground warehouse. That looks kind of nifty. Underground warehouse looks pretty cool. It's a major amount of tech. But it might not be a bad thing because most of our warehouses seem to be full. Um, in fact, a lot of our warehouses seem to be full. Now, we need more log storage. So let's chuck another log storage down here. But I think it wouldn't hurt to have another log storage up here as well, because we have just so many trees up here in this area. But at the moment, I need to figure out how to migrate people. What, what's this? This says 
you have no no trees to cut. That's fine. Um, you can actually be deleted for now. We were just there to sort of clear this area and allow me to put a path along here. So that will do. Um, can you be deleted? Yes. Thank you. Um, so right, no unemployed transport goods between things. No unemployed beavers. Right, fair enough. Yes. So, okay. So, how do we migrate things to this district? I will apologise for the lack of uh, proper background music for the last 10 minutes. I've actually had to edit out because there's um I didn't realize I had a uh, one of my videos was playing in the background so I had a bit of double sound going on and I only noticed it on my mic on my thing <laughs> as I was thinking about this district issue um I'm trying to find how how do I shift something in terms of migrating population so I can't migrate population there. District 2. Um, we'll call this... Uh, Steel Hill. Is what I'm going to call that. Um, so if I click Migrate Population, there is no other district in range. Is it out of range? Do it, do it, does the district centre have to be here? So if I destroy this district centre and I put a new district centre just here, will that class as being in range? I know this is going to seem a bit jank. Um, if I then build the district gate, so if I delete that, build a district gate there, and then delete that district gate, yes, and go like that, that should be new district, yes. And can I migrate population from district 3, so this will be Steel Hill. Steel Hill. I figured it out. I figured it out. And this will be um, Green Mound. Yes, Green Mound. So we're going to migrate three population to Stell Hill, which I've spot, which I've typoed. To Stell Hill. Uh, migrate, please. Okay. So. Stell Hill needs to be renamed to Steel Hill. Better. Um, other things we need to deal with is let's start off by getting rid of putting this down. And let's get rid of all these dead trees. Because I'm assuming that is unfortunate for us. So let's get rid of the dead trees. And let's also whop down a little bit of accommodation for our little beavery friends. Right, there we go. That's all we need for now. Um, we're going to need to get some storage down as well. So let's put that one down and we'll put down a storage shed of some description like right here. Um, we've got a large storage house capacity 1000. Let's unlock that for now and just build one of those. as well right there. There we go. Now. Hmm. 
my other question is okay when idle transport goods between idle warehouses so are we going to be able to transport food to them that's sort of something I want to be able to do I, I want to be able to send them food because otherwise they're going to die um, okay so the cog maker is making cogs successfully um, sort of power supply power demand okay so that appears to be okay so we appear to be making gears we have gears yes we have gears so we should be able to make a bakery of sorts here that's um let's do I squeeze that in here or do I not um sure I'm gonna squeeze that in here there you go we'll squeeze the bakery in right there so these guys are oh we need to warp the speed up a bit so there is some sort of transportation going on or well at least here there's some transportation going on um stock desired yeah okay so they're actually going back here and grabbing some of the logs in order to make this and then we're actually getting additional logs here from this setup so we have oh we actually have a drought at the moment or is the drought the droughts incoming so the drought is incoming uh, something I'm thinking we should probably think about doing is can we can you pump water up to here this is like mechanical water pump no this is not going to be possible um, but I could at least probably pump a bit more water here and just have a few storage butts here just to sort of make sure these guys have somewhere to go get some water because yeah they are thirsty and they are hungry and I don't know how to how do we transfer wares between the two because I noticed this is actually classes within that district so maybe if I put a storage I'm gonna solve it by just sticking a storage here for now because that's classing as within this district and if we do that maybe these beavers will build it and they won't they won't die because they're hungry and thirsty and uh, it doesn't look like it's actually transferring food and water to them and I worry they're gonna die horribly um, can I migrate them back I don't want to kill the kill the beavers um, can I temporarily migrate them back migrate population um, three migrate back temporarily migrate back feed yourselves water yourselves have fun and then I'm going to cheat and migrate them back again. <laughs> oh, that's how you do that. No? Um, this is fine. This is fine. We'll migrate them now. Why can't I migrate three? No. No. Migrate. Oh, I'm migrating the wrong way. That's why. Migrate here. Migrate three. There we go. I'm sure I've had a beaver die. Because I'm sure I had 29 before. And now I don't have 29. 
So here come these three. They should now be okay. It says they have a home. Things are getting built as such. Um, it would be tempting to actually migrate a couple more just to see if I could get it to work a bit faster. I mean, the drought has started. I mean, I'm not actually paying a lot of attention to the drought, but I mean, it does seem to be, you know, we do seem to be doing okay. But yeah, I mean, all this seems to be working to some extent. If I can get this other storage done, we should at least be able to sort out them getting some food and things. I mean, to me this should be a priority and this should be a priority. Because if these get prioritised, then, like so, it'll get pumped and this beaver can get some water. And hopefully as well, we'll get some food. Nothing to do in range. Okay, no problem. Just leave that there for now. Actually, no, delete it. Oh, I, I don't think the dead trees will go back. Um, but can these guys not go through here and get water? I'm just wondering if I... Maybe if I um, delete one of these and then build one up here on the inside of the gate, would that, oh, would that kind of work? And I prioritize that one. Because again, my beavers are going to die here. I mean, you, you have literally nothing in storage. Um, let's desire um, some carrots and some bread and, and, and some grilled chestnuts and you've got some grilled potatoes so can you not go there and eat? Are you still starving? You're still starving. Um, okay. I don't... Oh. Uh-oh. No! No! Anog! You were so young! Well, you were 52, but... You were so young! Um... You're gonna die too, aren't you? And you're 13! I can't let you die! Um, okay, migrate population one. The other one must have died already. Oh no, migrate home. Migrate home to freedom. Right. What am I doing wrong? Is the question here. Why can I not get these to... to work? I mean, my other beavers actually seem to be working on me, on, on this, which is a good thing. Um, the question is, can I get it so that it's actually bringing food across? Um, cause it says transport goods between idle warehouses. So I can do three of those there. I mean, I might even do four. I mean, we've got plenty of unemployed. I believe. Oh, we've only got one unemployed. But we've got seven free beds due to recent fatalities um, so if you desire these things will you now get them and I don't know it doesn't seem like it there's no food coming here so you know can you like set this to import Allowed, desired, default, desired, none, 
allowed all. How do I transport between between cities? Um, because at the moment I don't know how to actually trans transit between the two. And there's nothing that's being produced in this district. I need to support them. Assign priorities. No. Okay. Monuments. Um. I'm not actually sure. What's this? This is mini large, double large, triple large. Labor. Builder's hut. Distribu distribution post. Distribution post. Goods to other districts. Okay. That's what we need. Whoa. That is not small. Okay. There we go. We're going to have to build one there. And somewhere here we're going to need a distribution post, I would suggest, as well. Um, I guess there. Seems as good a place as any. Okay. Whoa! Things are drying out here. Um, how long? Three days? One day? Not long till the potatoes die. I wasn't expecting the drought to last this long. I mean, fortunately it dries out in 0.7 days and the drought ends in 0.3 days. But I kind of feel like we need more water backed up here. I mean, at least the second area here also is providing food. So we've got you know, quite the stock of food, actually. I mean, it's still going to die here. Maybe. Point two days. Still point two days. The green is back. Point two days. Point one day. It's alive! Okay. So, distribution post. Right. Okay. Distribution post. Let's start here. Workers. Workers four. Roots. Um, uh, district distribution limits. Um, high. Let's say a high of three hundred on berries and a low of 150 um, bread let's have a low of 75 and a high of 150 so I'll try to distribute some of that books we haven't really got any books carrots 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 um, I'm going to go for a low of 150 and a high of 300 even though we haven't actually got that roast chestnuts a low of 50 high of 100 I don't know what the hell that is that's like grain isn't it so that's making bread at the moment um, planks logs I'm not going to worry about planks I am going to worry about so I'm going to say a low of 75 and a high of 150 scrap metal a low of 25 Ooh. and a high of 150 oh that's potatoes that was supposed to be scrap metal. Let's not worry about potatoes. Uh, 
Um, yeah, let's just put zero. Uh, scrap metal, 25 and 100, fine. Okay, that will be fine. So, will that be the same? Oh, you're kidding me. So, if I press go, are they going to distribute stuff? No routes established. Okay. How do I establish a route then? Um, add new route. Here, 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 here. How do I add new route? Um, add new route. Choose the destination drop-off point. It must be in a different district connected by a road to the distribution post. Yes, maybe I need workers there. Okay, so we're going to slow it up a bit. We'll go for two. We'll migrate a couple of people across again who may die horribly. I apologize, guys. Um... And then we're going to say to you, stop, no goods in stock, add new route to here. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's connected by road. They're both connected by a road. No employers, employment. Okay, why not? Let's go minus... Minus. Alright, you guys go and work there. So, routes. That's a new route. Here. Go here. What I'm asking you to do, go here. Why? Why? Do you not go here? What are these guys doing? Are these guys. No. I thought these guys were doing it there. Route. Establish route new route here here this guy you don't have a recipe okay sorry you don't have a recipe wheat flour to 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 yeah wheat to flour that's fine how do we make the bread because i don't know where we got the bread from i oh, know we haven't got bread it's cooked potatoes why can't i why can't i make a route i'm gonna have to look this up because I'm sorry this episode's been a bit of me just going how in the hell how in the what the because this is not self-explanatory and I know this is early access game but devs you, you need to make this easier beavers are dying here it's a serious situation um, I don't understand if I put like a low of 50 on there it doesn't seem to get distributed there's just this little strange pop noise this guy I can't establish a route here anywhere I'm connected by road apparently so anyway with that impending disaster and the possibility of more serious beaver losses um, I will leave you and say thank you very much for watching like and subscribe as always I promise by next episode I will have worked out how to do this thanks a lot